mia. You are adorable, Nicky Rido. Till I met you, Helena has not lived. When I'm not in your arms, I feel lonesome. When you stop kissing me, I'm cold. In you, my love, I have found a man, not made from dust. Helena, mia. Every time I look in your eyes, is a new adventure. Every kiss, a drink of wine. It's a beautiful night, my love. Oh, it does not do you justice, amor mio. Si, Scott. What is the trouble? It is nothing, nothing. Some soldados americanos, and the officer says you were expecting. No, no, no. What shall I tell him? Well, tell him, mamma mia, pretty Elena, the little heart thief. So, my adorable one, you take Cisco's heart and sell it to the soldados americanos for reward, huh? No, 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 Cisco, it is all a mistake. Well, Cisco, make sure you don't make mistake again. Open the door. Come on, open the door. <laughs> Adios, my little heart thief. I'm looking for your brother, Gordito. Ah, there's no good Gordito. I wish to see him myself. Hey, is he not home? Three weeks ago, I gave him my last 30 pesos to buy a bull at the Hacienda Don Pancho. And that is the last I see of Gordito or the bull or the 30 pesos. <laughs> my amigo, he has very short memory. Mm -hmm. Bueno, gracias, Maria. I look for him at Don Pancho's Hacienda. Bueno, yes, I have to come back with the bull. <laughs> I have other plans for him. Here, you better buy the bull yourself. Ah, Adios. Sí, Buenas tardes. Hey, what is happening here? A wedding. But why do you cry? It's my sister. She's been married three times. Each time her husband did die. It's hard luck, senor. Uh, why should that make you unhappy? Funerals and weddings are expensive. Between the two, I'm always broke. Ah, <laughs> ya comprendo. Oh, but I hope this time it's good. This man, he's strong like a bull. Bueno, I am glad. Oh, I am looking for Senor Gordito. Is he here? Si, sí, si, sí, but of course. Oh, Senor, he make joke. Gordito, he's the man. Gordito is going to marry your sister? Natural man. Something wrong? Huh? Oh, si, sí, Senor, very wrong. This, this Gordito is... He's a very sick hombre. In six months at the most, he goes. Oh, senor, what you are saying is terrible. I prepare dowry, 500 pesos. I make beautiful wedding. And senor, he make the joke. Oh, no, I know this gordito well. He is trying to put the eyes under the wolves. Come, we must stop it at once before it is too late. Rosita, she's going to be crazy for me, I think, eh? Como que estás hermoso. I go get my ring, it's in my trunk. Oh. There he is, senor. <laughs> Oh, Cisco, I'm glad you come. I get married. Beauty, you swindler. Why you tell me you are a strong and healthy hombre when all the time you are dying? Dying! See, he cannot say a word. He is caught like a dying mouse in the trap. No, I'm not dying mouse. I'm gordito. I'm strong man. Will you prove it? If not, the wedding is off. No, don't call the wedding off. I want to get married. I love Rosita. See, I love Rosita. All right, sit down. Come on, pronto, pronto. Now, we are going to wrestle Aztec style. If you win, the wedding goes on. If you lose, the wedding goes off. Come, give me your arm. Your head. Begin. <laughs> Hey, amigo, you are winning, you are winning. <laughs> you lose, you lose. The, uh, the wedding is off. Let's see. Let's oh, my amigo is a very nervous bridegroom. You give him another chance. Eh? Another chance, eh? All right, come on, get up, get up, get up. Take off your coat. Take off your coat, senor. Now, get over there, get over there, get over there, get over there. 
Now we wrestle Chihuahua style. Foot to foot, hand to hand. Begin! Hey, amigo, you are winning again, huh? You lose! And I tell everybody the wedding is off. Gracias, my friend. <laughs> you saved me another funeral. Capancho! <laughs> Capancho! The American soldiers, they are coming. They're looking for the Cisco King. Cortito, ven, pronto. Now, my little fat bridegroom, here we are safe. Hey, sis, but what for you do this to me? First you say I'm sick, then you make me lose the wrestling. What for you do this to me, eh? You are not meant to be a husband. You are a Don Quixote, an adventurer, a man of the sword, a man who loves to kill. Si, sí, si, sí, I love to kill. But, Cisco, every time I'm ready to kill, you fall in love. No, from now on I'm finished with women. <laughs> when they are young, they are fickle. When they are old, they are false. <laughs> when they get married, soldados chase you. Then you don't fall in love anymore? No, I am through with women forever. Oh. But my Rosita, she's so beautiful. Her eyes, her lips. Her... Come, amigo. Sing. Sí. Uh, hold up. What you say we go, eh? Uh, what about Rosita? Oh, I'm busy now. <laughs> so when the hold up, she fly in the window, lost she fly out, eh, amigo? <laughs> no, we go now, eh? Vamos. No, never Cisco holds up for himself. Always for beautiful woman. No woman, no hold up. No hold up, no, Rosita. You don't let me get married. Gordito, very sad. Uh, cheer up, amigo. We are men of destiny. <laughs> hey, Gordito, look. A woman. All right, we aim to be peaceable if you are. Maybe she's beautiful. Now we go to kill, eh? Say, we go, but not to kill. We go to the rescue. Leave the horses here. Come. Oh, Gordito, you unhappy man of destiny. Come on up, Lamb. But there ain't nothing in it but rocks. What? Where's the gold? I don't know. I don't load it, I just carry it. Oh, you're smart, ain't you? Look here. We happen to know there's 25,000 heading for the express office in tow Now well, that man was just plumb loco. Search the coach, boys. And I reckon you can all put your hands down. Nothing up here, except he is a wormhole. Ain't nothing in here. Yeah, must be someone slipped the boss the wrong kind of information. Well, there's no harm in picking up a few valuables. Lem, you take care of this here gentleman. Josh, you handle the gal. This, sir, is a front on the civil rights and liberty of a citizen. And you may rest assured I'll have you prosecuted for this. He must have swallowed a dictionography. There's no use arguing, Mr. Benson. It's quite apparent these brave men mean business. Uh, well, now that coming from a pretty gal like you make good sense. Too bad I can't make an exception of you. And why not, senores? Do not move. Drop the pistolas. Now return the valuables. Mount your horses and ride pronto. On behalf of my fellow passengers and myself, I want you to know we are very grateful. Grateful indeed. Oh, senor is very kind. I am Gonzalo Sebastián Rodrigo Don Juan Chicuelo. At your service. Indeed. I'm Frank Snodgrass Benson, and I represent... And the lady? Uh, Miss Joan Allen. May I present Senor... Uh... Chicuelo. Senor Chicuelo. Oh, senorita, it's a great pleasure. Thank you. I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't come along. Oh, it's nothing. We do this all the time. Are you badly hurt? Not bad, ma'am. Here, let me fix it for you. Thanks. Reckon one of you men will have to handle the reins and the tow us. Oh, I will drive the coach, and Senorita Allen will direct me. Oh, but I don't know the way. I've never been here before. Uh, well, then the Senorita will help me get lost, huh? <laughs> Amigo, bring the horses. See. Si. Andale! <laughs> you like this? Exciting, no? I must confess it isn't dull. No, it is never dull with Senor Don Juan Chiguelo. It's always big excitement, big danger. You're a very good driver. Oh, gracias. You know, it's very funny. This is the first time I ever drive a stagecoach. <laughs> 
must be a man of great confidence. Oh, see, ever since I was a little niño, or so. I remember my father, he took me hunting wild pigs. You know wild pigs? <laughs> my father, he fall off his horse. A big pig, you see him. He put his head down in charge to kill my father. I take my pistol. I aim. I shoot. <laughs> Pig drop dead bullet within his eyes. Anything wrong? Uh -huh. No, no, gracias. <laughs> He's my faithful friend. <laughs> you certainly were a crack shot. How old were you when all this happened? Oh, uh, two years old. And for a while, I almost believed you. Oh, you do not think I'm telling the truth? Well, it does sound a tiny bit colored. No, no, senorita. I... <laughs> well, maybe just a tiny bit colored. <laughs> I enjoyed hearing it anyway. <laughs> Gracias. It sounds pretty good to me, too. <laughs> Stuck up. What? Who did it? Two saddle-colored hombres. They're new in these parts. Did they get away with the gold? There wasn't any. The express box is filled with rocks. With rocks? Hey, you boys ain't trying little private sidetracking, are you? No, honest, Hank. There was nothing in it. What about that, Alan? I thought you told the boss there was twenty-five thousand coming. I did. I said just that. Well, he's paying you to give him the right information. Maybe you better go up there and tell him you were wrong. I know I don't relish the job of convincing the boss. All right, I will. Say, Bill ain't in the driver's seat. Must have been a holdup. Yeah, let's see what's up. What do you make of this, Marshal? I can't say yet, Hank. The guy driving's one of them. The girl's a passenger. Trouble. What's the trouble? We've had a hair-raising experience. Yes, sir, gentlemen, a hair-raising experience. There we were on a perilous mountain road. Excuse Bandits me. all around. Excuse me. Uh, Bandits. And I want to tell you that some of the people were pretty scared, too. But you can't blame them. Bandits right in front of you that way. Look! Look! We fooled them. Yes, sir. Ah, it's safe. It's safe. $25,000 and $500 bills. And it was my idea putting it there, too. Hooray! Is there anything I can do for you? Yes, there is, mister. You can tell me when I can get the first stage out of this country. Come along right over to my office. Yeah. Well, did they kind of rough you up a little? No, it was very exciting. My name's Gunther. I run the Garden of Eden. If you're planning on stopping over, we'd be glad to accommodate you best we know how. Thank you. Oh, uh, this is Senor Chiquelo, my knight in shining armor. Mr. Gunther. Howdy. And buenas tardes. I'm looking for my father. His name's Jesse Allen. Do you know him? Why, yes, I know him. I, I didn't know he had a daughter. Uh, do you know where I could find him? Yeah, he lives down the Baker Wash, about four miles from here. Thank you. Is he expecting you? No, he isn't. Well, I don't think you'll be finding him home, ma'am. He's gone on a job. Be back later in the day. If you're anxious to get along to his place, I'll be glad. Oh, to... that is not necessary, senor. I will take care of the senorita. Gracias. Thank you, anyway. Gordito, get the bags. Where we go? I'm going to take the senorita to her father's rancho. You bring her things. Andale, andale, pronto. Oh, yeah, give me those bags. You better head Alan off before he gets to the boss. Tell him I want to talk to him. The West is still pretty wild, isn't it? Oh, see, si, see, si. it's very beautiful. I never get tired of it. But it's so desolate and kind of frightening, too. Frightening? Oh, how can you say that, senorita, when you smell the clean air and feel the warm sun caress you? <laughs> it makes me so happy I wish to sing. Well, go ahead. No, oh, no, no, I do not sing good, only for myself. <laughs> but I am so happy I cannot help it. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, Carmen, I lose them, mis ojos. Si luz no viera, habías de ser hermoso farro de venturanza, dulce esperanza, bello placer. Well, that's very pretty. What do the words mean? No, it means light of my eyes. Uh, well, it is a love song. Mostly it means I love you. Any promise is finished with love. You know, senorita, since I meet you, I change my plans. I think I stay in this part of the country for a while. Oh, I'm glad, because I like you. You're fun. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you never meet a man like me before, eh, senorita? <laughs> the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. You believe in signs? Oh, see, si, see. Si. 
Hey, my little fat one, read the lesson on the rock. Everybody has to die sometime, I think. Who you come to see, please? Does Mr. Jess Allen live here? Yes, Missy. He live here. He no home. Come later. Thank you. Eh, hey, un momento. The señorita is his daughter. Oh, daughter. Well, good, Missy. Come in. Come in. Hey, gordito. Give the things to the little hombre. Sí. Thank you. You've been very wonderful. Please come to see me. I'd like to have you meet my father. Oh, gracias. If the señorita permit, I will return tonight, eh? Fine, then. I'll be glad to see you. You will? Oh, gracias, señorita. Gracias. <laughs> bueno, pues. Hasta luego, paloma mía. What does all that mean? <laughs> oh, it's easier to translate in the moonlight. Adios. Fueren en Occidente los tibios rayos del astro rey. Así murieron mis ilusiones, así extinguiéndose. Hey, Cisco, you go wrong way. No, I go right way. This way to Tomas. It's better we go this way, I think. <laughs> my little fat amigo, he loses his mind, I think. Didn't you hear me promise to see my señorita tonight? That's why I say it's better we go this way. <laughs> that is why I say you are loco. <laughs> Cisco, I'm your amigo. I tell you the truth. It's better we go this way. But why? You don't get angry if I tell you? No, no, I don't get angry. This senorita, she's beautiful, she's fine. See, si, see, si, of course she is. She's not like other senoritas. Uh, what are you trying to say? She's too good for me? See, si, see, si, I think. She's not like Helena, Carmencita, Dolores, Pachita. She's not for wanted man. Oh, you tonto, you fool. All women, they like wanted man. He's romantic, exciting, dangerous. Wherever I go, the women are waiting for me. But this senorita, her eyes, she says she loves you. And then the policias come, chase her away, she breaks her heart. Ah, uh, you sound like preacher. But sister, Silencio, no more talk. We go this way, andale. What's up? You were right. There was 25,000 on the coach and greenbacks. You know, I thought it might be easier for you to hand the boss the money instead of an explanation. Where is the money? Over at the express office. Oh, I see. When? Tonight. The manager closes up at 11 o'clock. All right. Oh, say, nearly slipped my mind. You got a visitor, and a pretty one, too. Claims to be your daughter. My daughter? Yep, she was inquiring for you. Arrived this afternoon on the coach. Where is she? Down at your place. Thanks, I'll be back. I'll start a hot poker game going tonight. It'll keep the boys off the street. This is all I miss you. You've done a very good job, Wang. Sure, me best cook, best houseboy, me plenty good man. <laughs> Hang it in the bedroom, please. All right. The master, he come now, Missy. Joni. It's been so long. How are you, darling? Fine, fine. Surprised? The most surprised man west of the Mississippi. You haven't changed, Dad. You have. You're a woman. The perfect image of your mother. Come on, let's sit down. Let's take up where we left off. The last time I saw you was the day I graduated from Miss Penny's school. I'll never forget that white dress you gave me. <laughs> I was so proud. I kept looking at you all the time. And when it was all over, I turned around and you were gone. I'm not very proud of that, Joni. No, I didn't mean to scold you. As a matter of fact, I'd had an entirely different speech rehearsed. Was it, let's forget the past and start all over again? Everything is going to be different from now on? Mm -hmm. Oh, how many times I've heard your mother make that speech. I'd promise, and I mean it too, and things would go along fine for a time, but it just wouldn't work. I've always been great out in front, and something would go wrong, I'd get bumped against the rail and find myself out of the race. But, Dad, try once more. It will be different this time. We'll make it different. Let's go home. Oh, no, not there. Your grandpa hasn't been oiling that musket all these years for nothing. I'm sorry. I've got to begin by running away from you again. I've got to go back to town. It's very important business. You'll be back in time for dinner, won't you? Well, I'm not sure. I'll try. Do. I've introduced Wang to an old favorite of yours. 
Mulligan stew. Oh, it sounds good. And Abraham said, and I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye your hearts. After that, ye shall pass on. He wants something to eat. You run along, I'll have Wang fix something for him. Uh, twice blessed are those that give my daughter. And it's not against my principles to eat meat. Please come in. Tarry here, I cannot. I must be about my master's business. All right, I'll have the boy bring something out here for you then. Bless you, my daughter. You wait here. See, I wait. No sleep, no eat, no Rosita. Gordito, you're not a man, you cucaracha. Buenas noches. Please come in. I almost thought you weren't coming. Sit down. Oh, you're very beautiful tonight, senorita. Thank you. I'm very happy? I should be. My father was glad to see me, and I'm going to try to get him to go back east with me next week. Oh, bueno, I'm glad for you. It, it makes it easier for me to, to say adios. What do you mean? I, too, am going away. I'm going back to Arizona. You see, I am the Cisco kid. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. You... But senorita, the Cisco kid is, is an outlaw, a, a wanted man. You an outlaw? <laughs> Pardon me for laughing, but it just doesn't make sense. Oh, so, but it does. When I met you this morning, I, I was attracted by your beauty. When we rode on the coach, I, I was captured by your freshness. When we were riding on the horses, I was falling in love with you. I, I do not know how the senorita feels about me, but... Well, after all, we only met today. I thought you were amusing, and I hoped we'd be good friends, but beyond that, I haven't thought. But I have. That is why I must go away. All my life, I have longed for freedom, adventure, laughter, and danger. It is the price I must pay for remaining a little minion. Bueno, pues, adiós. Oh, I nearly forget. <laughs> I bring you this little present. It is the Medal of Guadalupe, the gentle saint that protects pretty young senoritas. Oh, but it's very beautiful. Thank you. Adiós. Don't change. Just keep on being a little niño. Where we go now? His sleep is good sometime, I think. Tonight we camp outside. Tomorrow we go to Arizona. Bueno, bravo. You good man, Cisco. Adelante. Yes, I'm going to say goodbye. Take my place up in the sky. I'm going to play up and wear a crown. Keep your face in that corner. They have forsaken the Lord. They have gone backwards. What are you ranting about, Mose? Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Who's stealing what? I've been robbed! I've been robbed! Hey, where's the marshal? I've been robbed! He took the envelope with the 25,000 in cash. Hold on a minute. Who did? I don't know. He made me belly the wall. I couldn't get a look at him. But I did. Who was he, Mose? The man I saw with the girl. Down at Baker's Watch. What was his name? I don't know his name. Are you certain you can identify him? The Lord hath given me eyes to see and a mind to remember what well, I Well, we'll ride down and have a look. Come on, boys. You too, Mose. Take my hand. And you and me better go along, too. 
Men, we're riding for Baker's Wharf. Is this the girl? The same. She who fed me tainted food. Sorry, ma'am, but we'll have to take a look around. You ain't in there, Marshal. Will you please tell me what this is all about and who are you looking for? The man Moe saw you with this afternoon. He held up the express office and got away with 25,000. That isn't true. I don't believe it. Well, Moe was an eyewitness. Come on, men. We'll search the district. Coming with us, Mose? My business is with the Lord, not chasing outlaws. Well, you better be on hand to identify the prisoner when we bring him back to Towards. Well, the Lord will guide me. We've got to get out of here. You're not the man they're looking for. Yes. You are a thief? I can't explain now. I'll tell you everything later. Well, where's the money? I have it with me. Then you must return it. No, I can't do that now. I'll mail it back to the marshal as soon as we get out of the country. Go change your clothes. Hurry. Don't stop to pack. We've got to get across the state line before that posse finds us. But you've only got one horse. It'll get us to Grandy. No, Father. They'll be sure to catch us if you take me along. I can't leave you here. Don't worry. They can't do anything to me. But, Joan... Please start now. I'll follow some way. Where shall I meet you? There's an eating shack just this side of Grandy. I'll wait for you there. All right. Now, please go. What's up? I've just been thinking. If they catch up with Alan and Mose identifies them, it might not go so good for us. You're dead right, Hank. Reckon we better find old Mose and have a talk with him. Oh, going to play a hop and win a Howdy, Moe. Nice tune. Yeah, mighty pretty. Didn't mean to interfere, just wanted to ask you a question. You certain you can identify the robber at the express office? The Lord hath given me eyes to see, and I have seen. Yes, I'm going to say goodbye. Take my place. It's better we go this way, I think. Bueno, bueno, andale. Why you shoot? The wild animal, I think. Ah. Senorita. Senorita. Oh, thank heavens it's you. Are you hurt? No. What are you doing here this hour of the morning? I was going to Grandy. Oh, and, and your horse, he had mind of his own. He got a tow wash, huh? Yes, he ran away. Oh. <laughs> hey, Cisco, look. What's all the shooting about? Oh, so you're the man that was with her at the rancho yesterday. See, si, see, si, I was. Well, you're under arrest. 
But, Put up your hands, and you too. But you've got the wrong man. You've made a mistake. No, you all made the mistake, but not clearing out of the country. But why, senor? We have done nothing wrong. Yeah, we'll see about that. We've got an eyewitness back in town that saw you pull that hold up. Hold up? Yeah, $25,000. But if we make hold up, where is the money or the gold? You can search us all. Pretty clever outfit, ain't you? You lost no time in turning in the alarm. And you wasted none in handing the money over to one of your confederates. Well, he ain't gone very far. Barney, you and a couple of the boys right up the canyon to Grandy. That won't be necessary. There isn't anybody else. We hid the money in tow wash. Oh, I thought you were the Umbria, all right. Oh. Now I see why you're on your way to Grande, eh? <laughs> you deserve a big compliment. You make goat from lovesick calf. Bueno, I am ready. Marshal! What's the trouble? Oh, Moe, we found him down in Baker's Wash. Somebody shot him in the back. What? Is he dead? Yeah. What do we do now, Marshal? Well, that throws everything into a Jim Fritz. He was our only eyewitness against this fellow. And that ought to help explain who shot him. What are you driving at, Hank? Simple as falling off a log. A dead man makes a mighty poor witness. Well, what you're saying, Hank, makes sense to me, all right. Well, we better get these fellows back into town and get up a jury right away. Yeah. What's the use of wasting time with a trial? Moe said he had seen him, didn't he? Let's bring him up now. Yeah, yeah what's holding us back? Hold on just a minute. These are my prisoners, and I aim to see justice done according to law. Since when does the law protect outlaws? Yeah, Here's a real fellow, Joe yeah. Destler. Cover up on the Stop, 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 wait. You got the wrong man. Now, wait a minute. Look, yeah. they're getting away. Here we go. Those men had nothing to do with the holdup. No? No. I lied to the marshal, but if you'll stop that posse, I promise the money will be returned to the express company. Oh, it will, eh? Yes, just as soon as I meet my... As soon as you meet your father? Yes. He'll mail it back every cent of it. Well, that's very interesting. I think the boss would like to know about that. What boss? Your father's boss. Our boss. The man we're all working for. See, that's one of my good ones. <laughs> well, I guess it's my turn now. Come in. Got it here. Yeah. Alan with him? No, but I got his daughter. Well, I didn't know Alan had a daughter. Me neither. She got here yesterday. Yeah? Where's Alan? The boys missed fire on the stagecoach holdup. Couldn't find the money. Yeah? It was there, all right. Under the seat in an envelope. The manager of the express office took charge of it. Why, you bungling idiot. Now, wait a minute, boss. I got Alan to stick up the express office. Well, some half-cracked nut seen him, and he had to beat it away from a posse. Where? I don't know. But I trapped her into spilling the beans. They aimed to mail the money back to the express company and clear out. Oh. I see. Is that true, miss? You know, we're going to get along a lot better if you just answer a few simple questions. If they have anything to do with my father or his whereabouts, you might as well save yourself the trouble. You see, Miss Allen, your father used to work for me, and I'm not interested in anything but recovering some money that rightfully belongs to me. Now, if you don't wish to give us a little cooperation... You can save your breath. 
All right. Have it your way. But take it from me. My way would have been better. Find Alan and bring him in here with that money. <laughs> How's that, Joshua? All right, come up again. <laughs> Buenos días, señores. Howdy. What are you going to have? Chile con carne, pan con jamón, tortillas, frijoles, arroz con queso, <laughs> enchiladas. Hey, Sunday Sunday you bust. <laughs> Forgive my amigo, he eat like little pig. What are you going to have? The same. Hey, amigo. I am not satisfied with leaving the señorita back there. We had no time to kill her. Cállate, hombre. Oh, sí. At the last minute, she tried to tell them we are not the guilty ones. Lift them up, hombres. These men, they robbed the express office and tow us. They got away with 25,000. I recognize you the minute you walk in. Just got the facts half hour ago. What am I? You. Ah, muchas gracias, señor. Now, uh, please. My amigo, he's very hungry. Hey, gordito, take care of him. Now, you give me some tortillas, enchiladas, and tamales, and some good. Hold on. <laughs> oh, señor, please. Do not think that I not appreciate what you have done for us. But, uh, why? I know you had nothing to do with that robbery. Oh, I see. You mentioned something about a girl. See? Si, si. I wonder if maybe she is your daughter. Señorita Allen? Yes. What happened? Where is she? Oh, caramba. I am big fool, senor. I should have known she had good reason for what she do. What did she do? I have no time to tell you now. I explain on the way. <laughs> well, now everything is perfect. Now we eat, huh? We eat later. Come, we have work to do. But Cisco, look at this food. Bring the horse to the door. Pronto. Here. Andale, look. pronto. But look, Cisco. Hey, you come here. Yeah. Get up on the bench. Put your arm to the window. Bye. Adios, viejo. Next time you get the facts straight. Yeah. Bueno, there is no one here. There were too many here today. The trail must tell us nothing. Then we eat. Yeah. Wait. There are prints up this way. They might be Jones. And this trail leads to... To where, senor? The boss's place. The man I work for. He operates throughout this whole territory. He's got men like Gunther and me in every city, town, and hamlet. Oh, then we go to see this big senor boss. It's not as simple as that. His place is like an arsenal. Hey, you hear that, gordito? We go. We get in, I think. Uh, I thought you said you were hungry. I like to eat next to kill. Bueno, we go. That's the place down there among those rocks. Well, that is no arsenal, that is a mine. That's what everyone thinks, including the marshal. Oh, I see. When marshal comes and your boss, he becomes miner, eh? Mm. <laughs> it's a good idea. I think I remember that. Now, you wait here. My amigo and me, we bring back your daughter. You sure you don't want me to go with you? Oh, but of course. You come, you spoil everything. All right. Good luck. First, tell me the names of some of the hombres that work for Senor Boss. Some of the more big, important ones. Well, there's Jackson. He runs a feed store in Grandy. Uh -huh. And Tumbler is a coach and wagon builder in Phoenix. Oh, bueno, that is enough. That is enough. Now, Senor, please, give me the express office money. What do you want with that? <laughs> well, money she speak better sometimes than pistola. Gracias, Senor. Oh, do not worry. After everything you tell me, I don't make mistake. You can't. One mistake will be your last. Those men are killers. I'm pretty good killer myself. Bueno, we go. Come, amigo. Adios. So long. Now you keep quiet. And don't look so scared. Hola. Oh, look, honey. This floor walking ain't gonna make matters any easier. Come on over and have a drink. Come in. Oh, come in, come in. I ain't gonna douse you. I'm through with them tricks. That bucket's as dry as Sahara. Somebody's coming up the road. See who it is. Maybe it's Gunther and he's found your father. Buenas noches. What do you want? I uh, want to see Senor Boss. What do you want? I told you. I uh, Tell him I want to see him on business. Nice evening, huh? Keep him here. 
Well? Two men. One wants to talk business. What's his name? Didn't say. Sorry, honey. I gotta see some men in here on business. Take her below. This way. Tell them to come on in and have the boys keep their eyes peeled. Right. Go ahead. Buenas noches. Howdy. <laughs> you have nice place here. Not bad. What's on your mind? You are Senor Boss, no? That's me. Ah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Well, what's your business? Sit down. <laughs> if you will forgive me, I like to stand up when I talk business. <laughs> I uh, have much better luck that way. Well, what can I do for you? Well, my business is very private. Well, we're alone. Oh, well, I thought that big hombre with the, with the rifle, <laughs> maybe he's listening. These men work for me. We're all miners. Ah, bueno, then we are in the right place. Senor Jackson, say you run a mine. What Jackson? Senor Jackson from Grande. Well, what do you want to see me about? Uh, senor, I am the Cisco kid. Never heard of you. I've never heard of the Cisco kid who is uh, in charge. Silencio. <laughs> Forgive my little amigo. He's very devoted to me. <laughs> I am also in the same business as you. Oh, you're a miner too, huh? <laughs> no, no, not a miner. You ain't suggesting that I am... Oh, un momento, por favor. Senor Tumblr from Phoenix, he also tell me about you. You know Tumblr? Si, naturalmente. He's my very trusted friend. I had to leave Arizona in a little bit of a hurry. So he told me to come here and spend a few months with you. Ah, uh, come, my friend. It's all right. I'm not a policeman or a soldado. <laughs> 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 oh, you had me worried there for a minute until you mentioned Tumblr. Uh, you have me worried, too. These hombres, they were just waiting for a signal, no? Yeah, they sure were. <laughs> All right, Joe. Never mind, fellas. <laughs> Make yourself at home. Have a drink there. Stay for dinner. And if you want to join up with my outfit, you're welcome. <laughs> kind of fooled you there, didn't I? <laughs> hey, Memphis! Come here. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, Mr. Boss. We got company. Two more. Sure enough. Yes, sir, Mr. Boss, and we got plenty. I sure hope them gentlemen love southern fried wild turkey. Si, muchas gracias, no digo yo. And what else you gonna have for eats? Uh, we gonna have beans, we gonna have cornbread, and we gonna have jelly pancake, and yes, sir, it's going to be delicious. Oh, que bueno. Yo tengo mucha hambre. Uh, yes, sir. Them gentlemen show sure murdered the English language. Yeah. My boss. Yeah. Uh, does that nice lady dine in the lower uh, upper quarters? Below. Yes. The boss. Yeah. Shall I feed them with or without? Without. These are my friends. Yes, I was just checking, boss. That's all. Just checking. That's all. I hope he's better than the kill, I think. Oh, that's the market of forge. Wait a minute. Have a real drink. Here you are. I know you're going to like this one here. There you are. Gracias, gracias. You drink with us, Cisco? <laughs> nice fellow, your little fat amigo. Say, he's a good hombre. <laughs> well, down the shaft. Yes, good salud. luck. Salud. <laughs> I think I'm wet. He thinks it. <laughs> That's all right, Joshua. These men are friends of mine. Well, I reckon you like to clean up before you eat, huh? Take him to my room. I'll see you later, Cisco. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, amigo, laugh. <laughs> laugh, it is very funny. <laughs> my little amigo is very stupid. He does not realize that Senor Boss is a very funny man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was very beautiful, Senor. She loved me very much. Get all for your boss, and it is delicious. <laughs> well, Cisco, that's one thing we do here. We eat good. <laughs> Cisco. And help yourself to the other stuff there. No, gracias. 
Well, uh, grace is to you, sir. Joshua. Hey, John, that's it. Hey, Gary. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't. Hey, gracias. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll give you a real piece here. There you are. Gunther's back, wants to see you. Well, have him come in. No sign of Alan yet, but we're... What are they doing here? Ah, Senor Gunther, it's a pleasure to see you again. Hey, do you know who these hombres are? Ah, oh, take it easy. These hombres are all right. All right? They're the ones that broke up the stagecoach holdup. What? Well, see, that is true. I was also interested in the $25,000. I am sorry, senor, but I did not know these hombres were working for you. That's right. <laughs> That's one on you, Gunther. He's in the same business. That's the Cisco kid. <laughs> Then what was he doing with Alan's daughter before and after the express office was robbed? He's up to no good, I tell you. He's here to get the girl. Oh, see, that is the truth. I was with Senorita Allen, and I have been looking for her, but uh, I did not know she was here. Oh, this is very lucky for me. Why? <laughs> well, Senor, if a Senorita steals your heart, then she puts your neck in the noose. <laughs> You'll be looking for her, too. Oh, I think I understand what is worrying you. You think, Senor Allen, his daughter and me, we are partners, no? There ain't no doubt about it. Oh, no, Senor. Uh, put the pistol out of the way. Pronto. <laughs> Forgive my little amigo. <laughs> he uh, have the itching finger. Now I explain. You know what this is? Well, that's the express money. See, si, see. Si. Where did you get it? From Senor Allen. After he is dead. Dead. Alan, he steal the money I am after. His daughter, she made God from me. I am angry, so... Uh, Senor Alan, he is dead. Eh? Hey, what did I tell you? These hombres are all right. Uh, gracias, gracias. You realize, of course, by rights, that money belongs to me. No, see, si, naturalmente, this money, she is yours. If uh, what the senores say is true. What do you mean? How do I know that Senor Alan, he worked for you? After all, $25,000, she no grow on the trees. Well, that's fair enough. All right, I'll produce my proof. Joshua, bring up the girl. Ah, uh, Cisco, you're nobody's fool. Considering the odds against you, that backbone of yours ain't made of rubber. All right, he's nothing. He's joining up with us. And you fellas can learn a trick or two from him. Come on, the boss wants to see you. No use you fellas hanging around. You better go back to town. And remember, Alan is dead. So don't bother to find him. <laughs> <laughs> A little too much muscle up here. <laughs> well, maybe it's just as well, or they'd be sitting here instead of me. <laughs> oh, hello, honey. I got a little surprise for you. Come on in, sit down. I understand that uh, you know these gentlemen here. I mean, golly, I don't see how you made much progress with her. She ain't very sociable. <laughs> I have special talent for romance. Yes, I heard all about you. You're quite a sparker. <laughs> well, Cisco, there is my proof. You see, I was entertaining Miss Allen as my guest until I found out old man Allen flew the coop. <laughs> bueno. <laughs> Senor Boss, he have no muscle up here. <laughs> well, the express money, she is yours. Oh, thanks. And uh, what are you going to do with the senorita? Oh, I guess I'll keep her around here in cold storage for a while. Maybe she'll soften up a bit and become a very sociable companion. That is, if, if I ain't uh, stepping on your toes. Oh, no, 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 no. I am finished with her. <laughs> it is the shortest romance I ever have. <laughs> Where is my father? Where is he? I don't care what you do with me, but please tell me what you've done with my father. Your father had a little accident. You stole the money and killed him, didn't you? You murderer. Oh, take her down below, Joshua. She'll get over it. Hi, golly, I hate to do that to a woman. 
<laughs> hey, Memphis. <laughs> Clear the table. I've laughed so much this evening, I can't eat another thing. <laughs> I know finish yet. <laughs> oh, by golly, I'm always forgetting you. Have a cigar. <laughs> gracias. Yeah. I take one for my friend, eh? Oh, sure. Help yourself. <laughs> sí, gracias, gracias. Hey. Gracias, eh? Hey, golly. Yeah. <laughs> Did you notice my new ring? They won't need them. Uh, solid gold and a genuine diamond. Diamond? Yeah, watch it sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, senor. He have enough for one night. All right, I quit. <laughs> uh, I'm getting tired. I, I think I'll turn in. You fellas can camp here for the night if you want to. Oh, gracias. This place is better than outside. Yeah, Josh will fix you something in the bunkhouse tomorrow. <laughs> gracias. See you in the morning. Good night. Buenas noches. I'm still hungry. What do we do now? Sleep. Sleep? For a little while. I do something wrong, I think. Watch up. We ran into Alan. Yeah, we brought him back from the grave. Help him off. All right, get out in there. Wake up the boss. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Oh, please, there is no time to explain. But your father, he is safe. Come, we must go. Go where? I suppose, Domingo. You tell me what you're doing here. <laughs> I, I was planning a little surprise for the senorita. Oh, you was, huh? Well, see, she made goat from me. Yeah, you made goat for me, too. Father! Take it easy there, Cisco, or you're a dead hombre. Now, come on, get out of here. All of you. Lead the parade, Joshua. Tunnel 9. We're going to the sugar loaf. <laughs> come on, boys. <laughs> oh, you'll die laughing at this one. <laughs> <laughs> This is it. Tunnel 9. All right, here you go. 
No, boy. Don't be too rough on him, Joshua. Give him a lantern. Gracias, senor. Oh, that's all right, Cisco. I promised the boys a good look at this show. Oh, senor, please. I speak to you man to man. It's the truth, senor Allen, my amigo, and me, we may go from you. But the senorita, she do not deserve to die. She is innocent. If you are a real man, you let her go. That ornery little gal knows too much. And the more ornery a gal is, the more they talk. Too bad I can't accommodate you. <laughs> Which one of them beams you gonna pull this time, Joshua? This one. That's a good idea. <laughs> Get the cable. I might as well let you in on our little secret. I'm going to shut you in there, nice and cozy like. So long, Cisco. Now you know I wasn't fooling when I told you I'd do a little mining on the side. <laughs> Go ahead, Joshua. <laughs> just now? No, I used it before. On the last cook. You did? This is a fine mess I've got you all into. Don't feel that way, Father. They like Gordito. At least we're safe for the moment. Oh, see, si, the senorita's right. Hey, Gordito, come, we look this place over. You wait here. See. Si. Stop here, I think. <laughs> you are smart, hombre. Here, come this way. What? Senor Bossy, he, he know what he's doing. <laughs> this place is close up tight. Well, let us all sit down. <laughs> you know, senorita, is very funny. All our lives, my amigo and me, we live in big danger. Many times we nearly die by the pistol or by the rope. <laughs> and now we die sitting down. See, to die is bad. But it's much more bad to die on empty stomach. Ah, uh, cheer up, amigo. It's not so bad. After all, we die with roof over our head. Bueno. Hey, you don't believe me when I tell you this afternoon. With me, there's always big danger, big excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking the time Gordito, he fall off the balcony into the rain barrel. <laughs> Cisco, I know for lost balcony in Burrow. Oh, uh, you don't remember, you forget. <laughs> Where? In Sidona, when you were peeping through the window when the pretty senorita is dressing. <laughs> and, and what happened? You fall in, you get drowned. Oh. <laughs> what are you going to do, Father? I can't stand this. I've got to do something. I'm not going to let this happen to you. But what can you do? We've got pickaxes, shovels, explosives. I'll try to blast our way out. Oh, you are full of sombre. Listen, your boss, he no leave that if there's a chance. We're in the Sugarloaf Mountain. You blow her up, she cave in. <laughs> Lots of dirt. Well, we haven't anything to lose. We die either way. Oh, no, no, Father, please. The senorita is right. It's better this way. Please, sit down. What's the matter with you? Why you not do something? Me? See, you. 
What I do? Oh, sing, dance, make fun. What I sing? Anything, anything, cualquier cosa. Oh, bueno. I sing for you, señorita, las mañanitas. Y estas son las mañanitas que canta el rey David a las muchachas bonitas se las canta vaya así despierta mi bien despierta mira que amaneció los pájaros cantan la luna ya se metió despierta mi bien despierta de Lem she Bernard I think See, the oil she burned out. What are you thinking about? Hmm? Me? <laughs> oh, the same thing everybody else is thinking. My home in Portugal. My mother. I was hoping maybe I was going back there someday to find a pretty young wife. Have a nice little house. Look! A conejito! A rabbit! Now we eat, I think, eh? Oh, silencio, gordito, silencio. Poor conejito. The señor boss, he tear down the tunnel and break up your house, no? <laughs> now you lose your mama, eh? <laughs> yeah. The conejo, he come from heaven. If he can... Gordito, get the candle. Come, quick. Oh, sí. Pronto, pronto. Eh, this is where the tunnel she gave in. The must be... Anda, conejito, anda. Gordito, the candle. Bravo! It's there! She's coming through with the good. Can't be far to our side. Gordito, get the powder. You bring the pickaxes and the shovels. Now we have a chance. Poco más. Sí. The fuse. Give me the fuse. It's not enough. Give me some more. It's no more. Caramba, it's no good. Why? It's too short. It's dangerous to light. Oh, I light it. <laughs> no, no. It's better you take the señorita to a safe place. Oh, but... Andale, andale, andale. Pronto. Oh, si. Sí. Bueno, vamos, pues. Señorita, come on. You ready, gordito? Uh, uh, no, wait! Wait! I want to be with you when you do this. Gracias, gordito. You are good, brave amigo. Si. Sí. But you run fast. Si, sí, I run fast. I don't want to get killed, I think. You ready? Ready, si. Sí. Corre, corre! Si, sí. corre! Look! Daylight! We are free, we are free! Uh. Where's Gordito? Gordito! 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 What happened, amigo? Too much a part, I think. Are you all right? I'm all right, I think. <sighs> That's fresh, yeah. She smells pretty funny, I think. Oh, bueno, for a while, I think we never smell it again. <sighs> uh, the good little conejito, he saved our life. Let them go. Oh, go. <laughs> well, senor, Grande, she's this way. No, I'm not going to Grande. I'm going back to Towash. Oh, but Towash is no good. The marshal, he's looking for you. I know. But there's a little matter with that gentleman that needs to be settled. Bravo. The senorita deserved to have Anna's father. Hey, Gordito, give me the money. What money? The express office money you steal from the senor boss when you take the cigar for your amigo, remember? Oh, that money? Say. Si. Here, senor. Now you can send it back like you planned. Thanks. We'll never forget what you've done for us. Oh. What about you, Cisco? What are you going to do? Well, I think I take the senorita's advice and go on being a little niño. <laughs> bueno, pues, adios, compañero. Goodbye. 
Adiós, señorita. Con gracias. La señorita me quedé muy happy. Adiós. Y vayan con Dios. Toma, mi hija. Sí. Hey, Cisco. I'm still hungry. Where we go now? Uh, cheer up, amigo. We are men of destiny. <laughs> Behind each rock is adventure. Around each trail is danger. And in every hacienda is a pretty señorita. <laughs> and what is a pretty señorita? Oh. <laughs> Señor boss, he pulled his last trick. <laughs> I think. Hermoso ferro de venturanza. Dulce esperanza de...